What's up guys, this is BStacks bringing you a commentary on the map firing range Gonna be using the AUG Duel Mag, gonna be going 36 and 3, something like that Pretty awesome game, not that bad Alright guys, this is a 2 for 1 video And you already know what this gameplay is gonna be about, alright You already know that I'm gonna talk about Modern Warfare 3 Cause Call of Duty XP happened and everything was released Not Well not everything, but you know, we got to see the game, we got to see multiplayer footage and there will be a link in the description so that you guys can see it for yourself. But before you hit that link in the description, remember to click clack that like button so that I know that you guys love me. Alright? And it makes me just happy to do my videos, you know. I love my likes. Anyway, we're going to talk about the good and then we're going to talk about the bad. The bad things that I've noticed and the bad things that I'm worried about, okay? So, let's talk about the good right now. So let's start off happy and then we'll end on a little bit of a sad note, alright? The look and feel. The look is beautiful. The game, the gameplay looks awesome. You know, it doesn't look like Black Ops at all. It looks, the graphics are ten times better. The, the textures look nice. Everything looks nice on it. People are, but people are complaining that it looks like Modern Warfare 2. What the fuck do you want it to look like? It's Modern Warfare. People don't say that Modern Warfare 1 looks as good. It looks at, looks like Modern Warfare 2, because. You know, there was a step in graphics right there. But there is has been no there has been no step in graphics since Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So what the fuck are you complaining about? You know, it looks good. What the fuck does it matter? The feel of the game. You know, it looks very fluid. It looks very responsive. Looks very nice. Looks like a Modern Warfare 2 game. It definitely does. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't see a problem with it. Okay, now the sniper rifles. The sniper rifles look great. You know, there's no there's none of that stupid sniper sway that fucking Treyarch decided to put in so that's good you know quick scoping is back and I'm pretty happy for that you know because I'm I'm not the best quick scoper out there but I do like to do it every now and then it it's you know it's fun it is fun and the sniper rifles they all look like they're one hit kills I didn't really see one that didn't got that didn't get a one hit kill a lot so I don't know. The dragon off looks like a one hit kill. Everything else looks like a one hit kill. But who knows? Uh, another thing that's really good is proficiency. What proficiency is is basically weapon perks. You level if you use your wep if you use one weapon a lot, you'll level it up, and then you can get proficiency, which is like a weapon perk. You can get you can get less recoil, uh, less weapon sway, less flinch when hit longer hold oh you can hold your breath while aiming down the sights i don't know what the fuck that's supposed to do i think that's for yeah th that'll probably be for for sniper rifles you know longer hold breath obviously you know that'd be that'd be the sniper perk so those are good you know level up your weapon you can have you can have your weapon be more powerful or have less sway blah 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 you know overall win win it's a good idea by them no shotgun secondaries. There is no shotgun secondaries, but there is a perk called Overkill, which gives you which gives you two primary weapons. So maybe they block the shotguns from being a secondary, but I'm not sure about that. So don't don't quote me on that. The maps, the maps look very very good. I love how the maps look. It's not all huge. There's not a lot of buildings. It's more on the ground. You know, one play, point A to point B. There's a lot of coverage you can hide behind if you're starting to get shot at. You know, you can get from one position to another. You know, they, they look like running gun maps. They really do look like running gun maps. And I'm really liking how that looks. But that is everything that I think is good about this game. Let's get to the bad, okay? Here's one thing. Let me just get off of a, a couple of quick stuff, right? The knife in the gameplay was a one-hit kill. It wasn't a two-hit kill. You didn't have to pull it out. It was just a one-hit kill. But it is a beta, you know. It is a beta, so I'm guessing they are going to maybe do something. I mean, I'm guessing they are because Robert Bowling, well, Robert Bowling did kind of lie about Last Stand. He kind of lied about it, but not really. It was kind of like, like not a very truthful lie. If that makes any fucking sense. Who knows what they're gonna do with that? But death streaks are coming back. If you didn't already know that, death streaks are back. Final stand is one of them. That's what I was talking about. You know, Robert Bowling talking about last stand. 
Final Stand is coming back. There's something called Dead Man's Hand where you run around with, like, if you get killed a certain amount of times, you start running around with a C4 strapped to you. So it's like a suicide bomber. And if you die, you blow the hell up. So it's like an instant martyrdom, basically. That's basically what it is, an instant martyrdom. But I guess, I don't know. And, and you know what else pisses me off? They emphasize their game on close quarters action. So if you're close quarters, motherfucker has Dead Man. Boom, you, he blows up, and, well, that's what Blast Shield is for, I guess, you know, I'm, I guess that's what Blast Shield is for, but here's one thing that, that is really pissing me off, the death, the killstreaks, okay, the killstreaks are assault, specialist, support, specialist, you get perks, assault, are like offensive, are offensive, uh, killstreaks, you know, those look pretty alright, you know, they're, they're a bit annoying, though, they look pretty strong, they don't look, at all like COD 4 they look really fucking strong and this, the one thing about support kill streaks that pisses me off is that you don't I repeat you do not lose your streak after you die you continue streaking you continue it so let's say you kill two people and then you die and then you kill two more people you get your fourth kill streak that's not a streak anymore it's just a fucking I don't even know what the hell to call it and because of that I'm gonna quote me on this when it comes out. I'm predicting support kill streaks are going to be considered the newbie thing to do. New, they're gonna be like, oh wow, look at that support kill streak new. They're gonna be like, oh wow, look, he's just using support kill streaks all the fucking time. That fucking noob, he can't get a streak at all. He all he does is die and get more kill streaks. And I think that this is a way that Modern Warfare 3 is gonna just help out noobs. You know, that's what they're doing is helping out noobs, and it pisses me off. Like with the death streaks and everything. Don't help noobs, Robert Bowling. Punish them. Make them be better. Make them be good. Don't don't help them out. But that's pretty much all that I have to talk about, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. And I hope you clickety-clack that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.